I can promise you this, you've never seen an exercise like this anywhere. This is called the Modified Functional Dead Bug Exercise. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, all the details about it, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you exactly how many sets and repetitions to do to get the best results. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to lie down on your back, and when you're on your back, it's very common for people, especially if you're used to doing some type of crunch or sit-up, to round your spine and put pressure on your back down low. Now what you're going to do, and this is the first step, and it's very, very important to do this exercise correctly for the safety of your spine and your spinal discs, is when you're lying down, you need an arch. Do you see how my forearm is underneath my lower back? What that's doing is creating a lumbar lordosis, a normal spinal curvature. That's what you want. If I have my forearm here, that's showing me the position of my lower back that it needs to be in. Now we're not gonna keep it there, but I'm just using that as an example. So you can see my hand right here, my forearm is underneath my back. Now if I remove it, what happens is I'm gonna maintain this posture of my lower back for the entire time of the exercise. In other words, let me tighten my, my shirt here. You can see there's space here. What you're not gonna do is you're not going to flatten your back against the table. So you're going to make sure that there's space there. Now, if you cannot maintain the space, then roll up a towel and put it in the small of your back. That is step number one. And the reason why we wanna maintain a normal lordosis is because that will protect the spinal discs. And when we strengthen these muscles of our core, we're gonna be strengthening our body in the best position possible. This is especially important when we get older, we have degenerated discs or we have herniated discs. So if you're one of those people, then this is vital to maintain this lumbar lordosis. Now, step number two, how the exercise is gonna look is you're gonna put your thighs at 90 degrees and your arms at 90 degrees, and you're gonna extend the opposite arm and leg. Whatever hand is up, is the opposite leg is gonna stay up. So when you're doing this exercise, you're doing this. Or in this case, you're gonna be doing this in just a moment. But a standard dead bug exercise is one where you're gonna do this. So the opposite leg and the opposite arm are gonna extend down to the ground. Why are we doing it this way as opposed to any other way? The reason why is because this mimics the neurological cross-crawl pattern that we learn as a young person and is supposed to extend into our entire lives. As people get older, we start to lose that neurological connection with our body. So this exercise also trains our body neurologically to function the way it's designed to and it'll stimulate muscle firing patterns that are beneficial for keeping our back pain away. Now the third thing that we're going to focus on when we do this exercise is when you're up in this position, whatever leg that you're extending down to the table, you're not just going to let it go down to the table and then bring it back up. What you're going to do is you are going to act as if you're doing a leg press uh, machine and you're going to be pushing down. And at the bottom of the position, what you're going to do is you're going to tighten your gluteus maximus muscle to try to fully extend the leg so that it's almost as if you're running and you're pushing off like this. What you should feel is your gluteus maximus muscle contracting and almost literally lifting your body off the table or the ground. So when your muscle contracts, it'll contract and you'll feel your pelvis slightly come up off the ground. It'll look like this. You go down, but it's not, that's where people just stop. And when you contract, the muscle contracts and you can, you can see a little bit of lift off the ground. The reason we're doing that is to activate the hamstrings and the gluteus maximus muscle on that side. Now the fourth thing is on the opposite side of the leg that you're doing, you're doing your arm. And so what you're going to do is when you bring, if I'm going to extend my left leg here like this and, and really contract that gluteus maximus, 
Then I'm gonna take this elbow, and instead of a standard dead bug exercise where you just take your arm passively here, you're going to bring it back and you're gonna take your elbow and you're gonna force it into the ground and almost try to push up. You could see how my body just comes up a little bit by the contraction. It's almost like if this were, uh, if the table wasn't here, I would be pushing down farther than the table. But because you're doing this on the ground, what happens is you're gonna be lifting up. So it's, it's like you're trying to force your arm backwards. Why do we do it this way? The reason why is because now, if you bring your arm back really forcefully, you're activating your posterior deltoids, your infraspinatus, your rhomboids, and the lower scap stabilizers. And what that does, it actually connects to the fascia to the opposite side gluteus maximus. So we're recreating strength in that cross crawl pattern. The fifth and final component of this is that when you are in this position here, like this, so your, your left leg is fully contracting, your gluteus maximus is contracting, you're using your arm and you're pressing against here, then you're gonna take the hand that's up here and instead of just keeping it up in the air, you're gonna put it diagonally on the inside part of your knee and your knee then is going to isometrically contract and because of the angle of your hand, you're gonna be pulling this knee up to the opposite shoulder, but it, there's gonna be no movement because it's an isometric contraction. And that way, what happens is you're gonna, I'm, I'm pushing my leg, I'm, it's as if I'm trying to push my leg down, but I'm keeping my leg right there. So why are we doing this? Because we're contracting the hip flexors of the opposite side of the gluteus maximus we're contracting. And this, again, it mimics a running posture or a walking posture or what's called a cross crawl neurological pattern. So as we're doing it, it's as if we're, we're running like this. Now, if, you were, if this leg were to go, if this leg right here were to go backwards, this arm goes forward and this leg is contracting up. So we're contracting all the muscles that are involved in that cross crawl pattern. So the benefit of all of this is that we get neurologically strong, our muscles are being contracted in the proper sequence, we're developing an extremely strong core in a functional way, and we're not causing any harm to our spine. It's literally a win-win-win-win situation. So here's how it would look in real time. So you're up like this, I have my arch right there and I'm gonna maintain that. I'm gonna co-contract my abs, I'm gonna bring it down, contract, bring it back up. Bring it down, contract, bring it back down. You're gonna do it at this speed. You're gonna hold the contraction for about three seconds, just like this. So how often do you do this exercise? I would recommend to do it every single day. How many sets and reps do you do? It's gonna be dependent upon the individual. However, if you can somehow build up to three sets of 10 repetitions, this is probably gonna set your core on fire. So try this and let me know what you think of this exercise in the comment section down below. If you find a different modification works for you, you can certainly use that. And if you find something else works better for you, let me know. Now there's an old saying that most people have a six pack, but it's hidden behind a keg. So if you visually want to see the abs, then what has to happen is you have to have a low percent body fat. And that mainly happens in the kitchen. And I'll put a video down right here in the corner at the end of this video. I have one more thing to tell you, and then you can view that video, and that'll get you started on how to get a proper diet so that you lose body fat percent, but you do not lose muscle. And that way you can get the abs that are actually visible. Lower blood pressure, enhanced heart health, protect your arteries, improve your energy, improve your bone health, help migraines, chronic pain, and depression, reduce artery stiffness, and better sleep. These are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the benefits of magnesium. The soil sucks, we don't eat enough organic vegetables, and that is why it's so hard to get enough magnesium in our diet. Now the supplements that I take are from the video sponsor, Magnesium Breakthrough, and they have a great product that has seven different types of magnesium in it, all listed right here. Now when you get all these major forms of magnesium, 
then your body really starts to improve and that is when the magic happens. I take two tablets at nighttime. It gives me 500 milligrams of magnesium per day and it really helps me sleep like a baby. There will be a discount code and the link for this type of magnesium down in the description.